Hi and welcome back to the Gun Lighting Channel. Today I'm going to shoot the Celery and Belio Club. Hi, today we're going to shoot the Celery and Belio Club at 55 yards. I made a promise to one of my viewers that this was going to be the next cartridge I was going to test. Well, it was a little light because I already had some footage ready. But today I will make good on my promise. The Celery and Belio Club is a 40 grain lead round nose bullet that leaves the muzzle at a moderate 1066 feet per second. This is usually a sweet spot in velocity when it comes to accuracy. And we're going to see what this cartridge can do in my rifle today. And today I'm going to shoot my Tika T1X with a 20 inch barrel. And as usual my size Conquest 6.5 to 20 on top. And as always I will shoot some shots through the chronograph to see what the velocities are in my rifle. And today I had some problem with my chronograph. It ran out of battery during the chrono shots. So I had to measure the shots I shot at the target. But on the bright side, I got 20 something shots instead of 10 to gain the velocities from. What is cool about this cartridge is that Celer and Bello gives us the ballistic coefficient. And in this case it's 0.11. This is more or less the same as other 22 long rifles and it means that you can punch these numbers into a ballistic calculator and get trajectories, uh, energies at different distances, etc, etc. Celery and Bello actually have a lot of information on their website. So I suggest you go in there and read a little bit if you want more information on this cartridge or on their complete line of ammunition. At first look, it seems like a quality cartridge. The bullets are even and uniform without any defects. In all honesty, my experience with celery and bellow ammunition hasn't always been that good. But in the later years, they have gotten better and better and now it seems like they have their quality under control. I can mention that the bullets are well lubricated and they get a little sticky in warm weather. But before we start, I just have to say, this is a little unfair test, because the weather was not good when I shot this test. But I had limited the access to the range, so I had to do it today. It was either this, or no shooting at all. So, it was quite windy, and you will see on the groups, that the groups I shot in wind, it's not that good. But uh, when I was lucky and there was no wind and calm, the groups was very good. So, I have to do this test one more time, another day when it's calm. So, like a British friend says, the proof is in the pudding, so let's do some shooting!
The maximum velocity is 1126 feet per second and the minimum is 1064 feet per second. This gives us an average of 1094 feet per second. Actually, almost 30 feet per second faster than the Celery and Belio clay. Usually, they go a little bit slower. The spread is 62 feet per second, and this gives us a standard deviation of 13. Not too bad. Now, on the first group, you will see that one of the shots is way off. It was neither the wind nor me, I think anyway. So I want to blame the cartridge for this one. 